Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in my favourite part of London, which is Chelsea. I just love Chelsea so much because it is not very touristy, not very crowded, and there's quite a few things to do around here. Unfortunately, we've just missed the sunset, so we've kind of missed golden hour by about half an hour, but it's still really bright. So I thought I would show you some of my favourite Instagrammable places in Chelsea. When you come out of Sloane Square Station, you need to head up towards the King's Road, so you see Peter Jones, which is a big department store on your right hand side, head straight up that road to the King's Road and you will see pretty much all of these places. I'm going to start off at the top of the King's Road which is the furthest point away from the Sloane Square Station. There's obviously loads of like Ivy restaurants dotted all around London. I personally think the floral display outside the one in Chelsea is the best. Not just because Chelsea is my favourite area but I feel like they just take it one step further with their display and it changes all the time. I have loads of photos of myself outside the Ivy um, all at different times of the year but I don't know what they currently have so let's go and check it out. Okay, as you can see, the Ivy is still really busy. Even when the sun's gone down, it took us about a good 20 minutes trying to get a nice photo. And even then, I'm not sure we quite nailed it. But yeah, as you can see, it is just absolutely beautiful. Their floral display is outstanding. I'm just walking back down King's Road as if I'm going down towards Stone Square. And I'll show you another shop, which I have taken some photos at before in the past. It is pretty, but it's kind of nothing special, but I thought I'd show you anyway. <laughs> Just a few doors down from the Ivy, um, as you can see, there's a shop here called Concept and they have this gorgeous blue floral arch. Last time I came it was pink actually, which was about a year ago, so I think they probably change this up quite often too. While this is a beautiful place to take photos, I have noticed that like so many shops and restaurants and bars have like got onto this flower trend and they have all these like floral arches and windows and stuff popping up everywhere. I was in Covent Garden earlier today and actually even somewhere as basic like a chain restaurant like Carluccio's had a floral display so some of them are like not great they just kind of have shoved any old flowers and tried to make it pretty and it doesn't always work so I think it's kind of worth seeking out the better ones I've just had to take a little detour because I spotted this from the distance and this wasn't meant to be in the video I actually had no idea that there was another Peggy Portions in Chelsea but it is just further up from the Ivy <laughs> so not only is there one in Belgravia literally like walking distance away there's one in Chelsea too I knew it was Peggy's from a distance because I recognise that iconic sort of pink floral display that they have the exact same one at the one in Belgravia and as you can tell it's currently Easter that I'm filming this hence they have Easter eggs everywhere but this one looks a lot more spacious actually this is no outdoor seating which is a bit of a shame unless maybe they do have outdoor seating in, in like during the day um, who knows So I had to go and ask her because I was like, no, like I know Chelsea really well and I know that there's no Peggy Portion here. I was like, when did you guys open? And she was like, seven or eight days ago. That's why, yeah, it's very new. And then she was looking at me like, are you going to buy something? And I didn't really, like I don't really have a sweet tooth. So I asked if they sell vegan cakes, like knowing that they don't. And she was like, no, sorry, not yet. I was like, yeah, sure, no worries. But if you do decide to go there, get a slice of cake or like coffee or whatever. They had a sign saying they've got um, a room called the Rose Room downstairs. I'm sure it is very Instagrammable, so I would definitely recommend checking that out. <laughs> Okay, so admittedly, this one is a little bit further out. Um, in fact, it's really close to like, the Alp Bridge, which is just up there. But the King's Road and the Ivy is all the way down there, so it's a bit of a walk. But if you're super keen on pink and you're struggling to find pink backdrops for your Instagram feed, then this is on Oakley Street, and it's a pink front door. Like, we all love a good pink wall or a pink front door, so this one's really cute. And right above the door, it says love which is really sweet. So just off one of the side streets on the King's Road, there's Bywater Street, which is my favourite street in London or in Chelsea. It kind of feels like you're in the back streets of Portobello, Notting Hill, because all the houses are all pastel shades, they're all different colours, but it's not as busy as that. I've done like so many outfit photos here, um, probably more than like a hundred, at all different times of day. And in fact, I hardly see bloggers. I normally just see like regular people. Sometimes I've seen the homeowners and they don't really mind people taking photos here, so it's really nice like that. It's going to be very hard to see because it's getting quite dark now, but these are all the houses. They're all pastel coloured. Let me cross over. 
and this is it it's basically a little cul-de-sac with loads of pastel colored houses my favorite one and i'll actually show you is right at the bottom of this road on the right hand side it's the pink one in the corner if you shoot right against that house it doesn't even look like you're in london <laughs> i did an outfit shoot here a few weeks ago and it actually looks like i was in barcelona <laughs> with the sun out <laughs> it was so beautiful Now, just across the road from the Saatchi Gallery on Coulson Street, there's this pink house. It's a very bright shade of pink, so I'm not sure that it'll be to everyone's liking. I have actually taken an outfit photo outside this house quite a few years ago, actually. But yeah, so like I said, it's very vibrant. It may not be to your taste, but it's pink. <laughs> Halfway down the King's Road on the right-hand side, there's a French patisserie that specialise in shoe pastry called Maitre Choux. I've heard loads about this place, but I've never been inside, so I don't really have a sweet tooth. But tonight we decided to to go in and just check it out and oh my gosh their eclairs slash pastries whatever they're called are absolutely divine they have flower walls against pretty much all of their tables i think which is great because unlike some instagrammable places people always try and fight over the best table in the place this place is super instagrammable but not only that the service is great and and their eclairs their shoe and their shoe kets the ones without the chocolate covering are totally worth their price tag they actually gave us a few complimentary ones to try before we buy which was great so yeah totally recommend this place okay so you may have noticed a slight change of outfit and i'm kind of whispering because it's about 10 past six in the morning i thought i'd film the rest of this video the following day because um last night it was just too dark and i really wanted to show you chelsea properly because it is literally my favorite part of london and there's just so much to see here anyway i'm now on godfrey street and this is another road that has mostly pastel colored houses these four i would say are the best ones and there are some further down but there's currently like loads of scaffolding outside there's a few you here but they're not all pastel colored if you know what i mean <laughs> this makes for a gorgeous photo though oh this pink house really is beautiful and this pink front door is so cute. Obviously it's currently under scaffolding, so that's not great. <laughs> yeah, there's not much else down here from what I can see. So it literally is just those four houses, which I think are what I always see on Instagram and the best houses on the street. Okay, ignore the second outfit change. I'm trying to shoot my own content at the same time, but I have just come to Smith Terrace. This is another street that has pastel coloured houses with a bit of a difference. They're quite hard to pose in front of because only the top halves of the houses are pastel coloured, but the front doors are quite pretty. So let me just quickly show you the street. So this is one end of the street, and as you can see, it's very, very sunny, so it's very hard to kind of capture the true colours on camera, but this is what I mean the top parts of these houses look really really cute but at the bottom they're all white <laughs> which is a bit of a shame but some of them do have like really nice sort of facades and I guess you could get a nice shot obviously if you just wanted a shot of the street then it does make quite a nice Instagram photo <laughs> if you wanted to pose against like a coloured building then it's a bit more difficult to do that okay now this one is a little bit of a walk away and I'm not sure if it's worth it but I thought I'd show you anyway because obviously it all depends on the type of shot you're trying to get let me just hide here because um <laughs> I feel like people are waking up now and they'll be able to like see or hear me. I'm on a little muse called Lennox Garden Muse. What's it called? Lennox Garden News. This is kind of near Sloane Square Station, but a bit of a walk away. Top tip if you're trying to like look for pretty streets, always look out for a muse because this is like all cobbled streets and like tiny little terraced houses but this is the one that i'm talking about this means is slightly different like they're all very different but there is one house that is of course pink this is probably the star of the show on this street and once again if you care about pink um quite a lot then you may want to venture out this way last but not least this is one of my favourites, this is the Saatchi Gallery. If you walk through the Duke of York Square, which you can see behind me, 
it has a few shops like a few boutique shops a few restaurants and like just loads of little benches to sit and chill and um, that's quite pretty as well if you want to take a photo but the Saatchi gallery <laughs> is my absolute favorite and actually my favorite time of day to come here is at golden hour i was here this time last week or a couple weeks ago and it was so nice and warm like it is today i was meeting my friend for dinner and we were just sat on the steps chilling with like a million other people in the sun and it was just so nice there's a bit of backlight but when it's golden hour and the sun's setting the whole building is like golden <laughs> and all the pillars and stuff like cast all these really nice shadows and it's just such a great place to take some photos it's also great place to visit it's one of my favorite like galleries to go to in London it's also free and you can take some photos here like in the summer I think they have like strawberries and cream and like pims they have the Wimbledon on so loads of people but there's like places to sit I'm not sure if you can actually go onto the grass but across the road there's a the typical Chelsea houses like the white houses with the beautiful front doors take photos here all on the ground it's just Oh, I love the Saatchi Gallery so much. Okay, so here I am, sat on the steps of the Saatchi Gallery, living out my gospel girl dreams, pretending I'm sat on the steps of the Met and that I'm Blair Wardorf. There's so many great places here that you can take photos, just because it's all like white and neutral. Also, I'm going to go into this place now because their display, all their exhibits, artists, whatever, change all the time and it's just such a great place to go. I really like it in here. But yeah, this is the last place. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this guide to the most Instagrammable places in Chelsea. If you feel like I've missed anything, then please, please, please let me know in the comments down below because I would love to know. And if you haven't seen my Belgravia guide, then I will link it down below or up here somewhere as well. So make sure you check that out too. Let me know what area you want to see next because I feel like this one I know pretty well. So this might be my best video. But I'll do my research i'll find out some more places for you guys just let me know what you want to see next i really hope you found this video helpful if you did then please give it a big thumbs up please hit that subscribe button and thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye